In this video, we're going to have a look at curtain walls, but adding some doors and changing some of the other panels as well. First off, we're just going to create the hole in the wall on the side of the building. And we'll edit the profile of that wall. I'm going to use the offset command, make it 300 mil to come down off the top. Making sure I get the cursor on the correct side of the line. And then draw a line, find the center point. Offset again, this time three meters. So I will have a six meter wide opening. Use the trim command to tidy up some of these lines. And use the line command to complete our boundary. Okay, now I'm going to go across to the floor plan. Find that opening in the building. Draw our new curtain wall. So I want to start off with an empty one. Okay, we've got unconnected height at the moment. We'll go across to our elevation again, click on that wall and drag it up to the top of our opening. Okay, then we want to edit type, duplicate and name the type of section for this one that it's going to be. I already have one named, so tall with door. So I'm just going to swap across to that one. And I've put fixed numbers for the horizontal and vertical grids. And then I set the type of millions that I want. Now, at the moment, it's got um, five glass panels, which is four for each of the grids. Now, I would like my vertical to have one less than that. So I'm going to change that down to there. So that gives me enough panels for some doors and some blank ones either side. I would also like to have eight panels, which means I need seven millions for the horizontal grid. So I'll change and apply that. And now I need to reposition a number of these. So I've just clicked on a blank bit of the screen there. And now as I point here, I get the dashed line. Click on that. Unpin the million. And I'm just going to change the dimension to 1500 exactly, because that's half the distance from floor to floor. And I want these to match up with the floor levels. Just be careful where you click there. You've got to click on the dashed line. Just working my way down. And with this one, I'm going to set bottom dimension 2100 for a door height. There we go. So that gives me the basic system, which we've already done. Now, you can do this in a number of your views by here. But what you'll want to do now is go to the Insert tab, Load Family, and what you will find once you go into your UK folder, you've got another folder called curtain wall panels. And there are a number of panels in here 
such as door panels. There um, is a window panel down here as well. And you've got various other options. OK, so I will open that one for now, but load a few of them in. Now, what you want to do next is hold the cursor over the curtain wall, like so, pointing at the element that you wish to change. Then press the tab key until you get the bit that you want. I might do this on this east elevation and do it by here instead. See if I can. There we go. So I've got the actual panel that I want to change now. So I'm going to change that one. So you can see down here, ones I've loaded in. I'm going to go for this double glass door. And I'm going to do the panel next to it as well while I'm at it. So I've got to click off it now. There we go. Got to get that mouse in the right place. And same again. So I got two double doors coming in by here. Now for some of these ones, what I want here is to change a couple of these to I'll give them the opaque glazing so you just press in the tab key to cycle through when you're pointing the mouse at that part. It takes a few presses. OK, so I've made those ones opaque. Now, what I would like to do here is to have a couple opening windows as well. So again, just point not quite there, look. So let's go. There we go. And then use the tab key. There it is. Click on the window change that one to an actual uh there we go metal curtain wall windows there we go and do the same on this side oh wrong window go over here try that one gotcha and then just swap it over so let's just have a little look in our 3d view see what we've done there so we can see that we have added a couple windows and some doors some opaque glazing maybe we would prefer solid glazing instead of opaque glazing we could have a look at that on the next row maybe And let's see what a solid panel looks like. And there's another variety by there. So we can see that by creating the system, setting out sizes of panels, and then that little trick of just pointing at the side of the panel and using the tab key 
to cycle through until you've got the one panel highlighted and then click on that. And making sure that you have inserted the families that you wish to use. 